What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we're going to go over market, we're going to go over some tips, we're going to go over some snipe filters, pretty much everything involved with MT. And uh, yeah, guys, make sure to drop 20,000 MT in the comments, like the vid, and sub if you are new for a chance of winning that 20,000 MT. Um, yeah, man, we got a lot to talk about in this video as per usual, man. Um, this is pre-recorded, so I'm just going to say, um, I do predict some moments are going to drop today, possibly a Lillard. I would really like a freaking Galaxy Oval, but doubt they'll drop him in packs. Um, if they do drop a, 90, uh, a 98 Lillard in packs, or even an Opal pack... Um, they definitely won't drop an Opal, but if they do, his odds will be crazy. So I would say do not, I would just say stay away from the packs. Uh, if they do drop an Opal Lillard, um, you could probably drop like 500k in the packs and get nothing. So that is just pure luck though. It is pure luck, I guess. I don't know how it works because 2k is very strange. They show you the odds. They don't show you the odds. The odds are off, but yeah. Once again, man, we're at 4,010 subs. We have gained 80 subs yesterday. We're on a roll. We're going to gain 50-something today. You guys are crazy. Keep subbing. Keep liking. Do all that good stuff, man. I love you guys so much. But, yeah, let's get to the market. Um, I'm just going to say right now, man, market's so high. If you're watching this video at around 10, it's pro I'm going to drop it early, probably around 11. It's crazy how much the market is up, okay? Um, Hakeem was at 160 literally two days ago. He's at 220. Um, AD, AD's dropping. If you guys want to get Magic and AD, I would guarantee I would guarantee they go down to 200K, maybe 250K on Friday. Um, Friday is usually a big market crash day or Thursday if they do drop some crazy packs. But yeah, market crash is going to come. This week, bro, they have, they honestly, the Frostbite content wasn't that well put together, I feel. I really don't think it was that good of content. Market crashed a little bit during the content, then it went back up, and yeah, peaks, peaks, peaks. Um, This is made on a Monday. They haven't dropped content Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Tomorrow, well, today is Tuesday. Um, So, content will probably dropping moments. Um, Market crash won't really happen, so just try to get your cards sold. Try to get your cards sold for Friday or Thursday, whatever they're going to drop. It's going to be something good, uh, creating a market crash as per usual, man. Love those videos. The market crash videos are my favorite to, pre to record, pre-record, whatever. But yeah, so, you know, we're going to go over some snipe filters. We're going to go over some methods. We're going to go over the market a little bit. We're going to go over some cards. I'm just going to say this. If you guys want Tracy McGrady, do not buy him. He's at 500K. Wait, maybe something's coming. Maybe a locker code. Maybe something crazy. He's way too expensive. Trust the process. Do not buy him. If you really, really want him, you really, really want Tracy, don't buy him. Please. Porzingis, wait on him. He's going to drop. Larry Bird's at like 240. Wait. Everything's going to come into place, and I'm going to post videos on it, as you guys know. I, never, I haven't missed a day on a video in months, so... We're posting consistent content. We're getting consistent subs, consistent likes, whatnot. So, yeah. I'm going to go over some snipe filters for you guys. Some that has been working for me. I'm going to start off with my money filter. This is my favorite filter in the game. Listen, I am on Xbox. Honestly, I think it's a lot harder to snipe on Xbox and PS4. I don't know if there's more competition. But every time I do miss snipes on Pink Diamonds, it, it's so hard to get Pink Diamonds on Xbox. But, yeah. Set your filter to Diamond. I like going in Able because I have a lot of bums in my collection so that I don't see them on the auction like Earl Monroe, Jamal Wilkes, and all them. If you guys want, I would recommend going through positions on the Diamond Filter. Go through positions. It is actually very good, very, very, very good. If you can see some Moments cards up in here, maybe some Prime cards if you see a Kobe and whatnot, very good time to snipe. Not, I mean, it's not a very good time to snipe until Moments drop. So when Moments drop, try to snipe out the new Moments. Try to snipe out all that good stuff. Let me know how it goes. Um... Diamond filter scrolling through positions is low-key one of the best methods in the game. I've made millions of MT off of it. As you can see, I have 1.3 mil there. Um, bro, try it out. Let me know how it goes. A lot of my subs said the diamond filter has been money for them. So let me know how it goes. Try it out. S spend an hour on it. Let me know how much MT you make. And yeah, pretty solid filter. I really recommend. So next filter, I'm going to say... Um, real quick, these are my top two filters. I'll, I'll give you my top... Mm, Alright. Amethyst Pro, 2,500. Anything that pops up, buy. It's pretty simple. 
It's a really good filter to make quick MT. It's pretty much the most consistent filter in the game. There is a lot of Amis, a lot of budget ballers out there trying to get those Amethyst filters. Uh, trying to get those Amethyst snipes. So yeah, try to stay away from the Reeves and the Purvish sort. Everything else, you can pretty much buy and make at least a thousand MT profit. So yeah, right there, the Reeves for 2700. I'm going to stay away from that. Try to stay away from Big Daddy Reeves. It's not really worth it. And uh, one filter, personally, it's really good, but it's also really bad because it's so damn competitive. Bro, it's Spotlight Series J. Lin, bro. This filter is so good because you get Mellow or Kawhi and make upwards of 50k plus. Um, they are they do keep ri rising in price until a market crash does come. They were Kawhi was 120, Mellow's 140. Literally no joke, I got him. Now Mellow's up to 200, and Kawhi's up to 160. So. They are rising a little bit in price. I do got to finish those Lin challenges. But right now, would recommend trying out this filter. I have missed probably two Mellows and about three Kawhis. I have I didn't get any of them. I tried so hard. I, I don't understand how I didn't get them. But yeah, try out this filter. It's really, really damn good. I've missed so... If I, could, if I could tell you how many snipes I've missed. In the beginning of the game, when uh, Diamond Mellow or... Amethyst Mellow, one of them was so expensive. I missed him for for 2,000 MT. That was a crazy snipe I missed. I missed a Pink Diamond Larry Bird for 1K. Don't want to talk about that. I've missed Bosch's for 100K. There's so many snipes to go around in the auction. You just got to be patient. With the Pink Diamond filter, you got to be patient. I'm going to show you one more snipe filter, actually. Um, bro, Pink Diamond Moments, bro. It's actually really good. I missed a couple snipes on here. Just go pink diamond moments and put it to around 30k MT. Pretty much anything that pops up is a buy. And I actually do want to check Eric, Gor Eric Gordon's price out. So if you guys remember, Eric Gordon's around 30k. Um, It looks like he's above 40k now. So if you guys took my method and stacked up on a couple of him, he's above 40k. I'm going to do that with the next moments. Let's see. What is he at? Eric Gordon's at 46k. Oh my goodness. I missed out on hundreds of thousands of MT. I should have bought out at least 10. I could have made freaking 15K profit clean off these Eric Gordons, man. 15K profit clean. If I picked up 10 for 300K, I would have made 150,000 MT if I listened to my own method. So, a new method. New MT method for you guys. When moments drop and a market crash happens. So, this is what I'm going to say. So, moments drop. Let's say they're in packs for three days. On the third day, usually is a Thursday or Friday, which means um, they usually do drop other packs. When they do drop those other packs, those moments go down, creating a huge market crash. And you guys should stack up on those pink diamond slash diamond moments and make a bunch of MT. That is my best method now. That is the new best method in MT in my team, for sure. Stacking up on moments when they drop, like you know how they drop like in three days, two days now, they're no longer moments of the week. Like, for instance, bro, Zion was 120, 130K. He's around 184 with 20 minutes left. So he's realistically like 200 plus K. If I picked up, let's say 10, I have a mil. Let's say I picked up 10 for 120, sold him for 200, 20 KMT. So 60K profit made off each. I would have made around 600 KMT if I picked up 10. So trust the process. Let me know how it goes, man. I mean, these methods are really good. Pretty much just stack up on any moments that drop. I would recommend diamond or higher. So you do kind of have need to have some MT. But uh, yeah, also another pink diamond filter. Try 20K pink diamond. Pretty much any other. If any pink diamond pops up, you buy. Even if it's David Thompson or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, man. We missed out on a lot of snipes. A lot of MT methods for you guys. And also, if you guys don't know, the market's so damn high. Sell all your cards right now to make that MT. Magic Johnson will end up dropping. AD will end up dropping. They won't be 300k for that much longer. They just got to have some really fire content out there that can finally drop them down. Also, man, you could get really lucky with some bids. Let me know how your bids go. Try bidding on some diamonds, some pink diamonds. You could get some pink diamonds. Honestly, I would, try rec I would recommend bidding on amethyst and diamonds. A little less competitive. But yeah, try to go for lower tier diamonds on bids. They've been working out pretty solid for me. Like 13K Tony Allen. You can make a solid like 5K off that. Sell them for 20K. But yeah, that's really all I got, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. A lot of MT methods and whatnot helping you guys out. Let me know how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for a video later after my job, after my work. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.